Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you my fireproof. I'm not sure how uh, fireproof it will be, but at least a little bit better uh, fire resistance than the rest of the house for sure it will have. Because uh, I start to, to have questions about, uh, I don't know, lithium power banks, uh, uh, lithium batteries uh, from uh, old laptops uh, around the house because it takes one of them to fail and uh, spoof you have a house fire and that sucks so overall whatever is not in use in that particular moment I want to have a place to keep so I made this box well, not this box, uh, this is not fire resistant, <laughs> but this is my idea. I will link a few videos in the description that gave me the idea of how to, to make such a thing, but uh, I'm going to go over what I want mine to have, and then uh, I will give it uh, to somebody to do the metal fabrication, because... Now I'm not no way near as good uh, with welding as I need to be to build this thing and also the painting and uh, whatnot. So overall the size it's about 50 centimeters by 30 something centimeters but that depends on what you need to store in yours. In height uh, about 14 centimeters, 15 centimeters, something like that. I don't need exact dimensions. They don't help me with anything, just overall size. This is what why I build it uh, out of cardboard and uh, hot glue. So, uh, it will be lined on the exterior with um, fireproof gypsum board, I think it's called. It, it uh, takes about 500 de degrees before it starts to deteriorate. For how long, I'm not sure, but again, better than nothing. And it will be made out of uh, steel, maybe two millimeter steel or something like that. So obviously that will also help uh, make it a bit uh, more fire resistant. We have here a vent which will have uh, holes drilled in it. Basically it's a box with, box with holes on all sides and also box uh, holes to the outside. So fumes can escape but fire shouldn't be able to go there. If you're thinking what's up with all of this, well I will put uh, that uh, temperature resistant, fire resistant gypsum board between uh, this and the metal sheet. So this will also be metal to keep that in place. So every single side that can fall, basically it will be kept in place by uh, these things. The sides will be kept in place by this. So it will slide like that. Here we will have a, uh, one slide like this, one like this and the last one like that. So even that area will have gypsum boards with small holes in it to let fumes out. Hopefully never, but just in case. Uh, cover will have edges that come over this a, a big hinge at the bottom obviously some kind of latches both uh, two of them in case one fails handles on both sides in case you see something happening to it you can grab it and this will be sitting on the wall like this so this is its normal sitting position with these things which are the type that have a big uh, round hole where you slide the head of the screw that's in the wall and then it goes up basically this slides down and it locks and if you want to remove it you lift it and then pull it so i can lift it pull it and take it out yes obviously with gloves or something it can burn your hands again god forbid we have a fire but i'm trying to think uh, to cover everything so three of these I think four would be overkill. Uh, holding it onto the wall and yeah, I think that's that's about it basically. I'm not sure what more to tell you. I'm going to have it painted white. So on white, any heat from the inside will uh, change the color of the paint and it will be really quickly visible. 
Yeah, it's basically better than nothing. Than have it, having those power banks, laptop batteries, all the, I don't know, electronics with lithium batteries in them, than having them randomly throughout your house. Well, at least there is some protection in here. Yes, you could buy something like this, but they are highly expensive. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this and better than nothing, I guess. So, next in theory, I will show you the finalized product. How close it will be to this? Who knows? And a few weeks later, the box is ready. Just need to unwrap it. Yeah, you know, I'm joking. This is basically uh, a box. This is all the info that I can give you. Uh, for electrical tools. Yeah, I cannot unwrap it with one hand, so I'll be back in a second. It's a bit smaller than my initial intention and only has one handle in here instead of two. And I need to make some holes on the back so I can attach it to the wall. But uh, this is metal, these are metal. It's basically kind of what I need. I just need to scale down a little bit, see if I can fit everything inside of it. In case I cannot, I will buy a second one and I'm still uh, cheaper than having one uh, fabricated. So uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, obviously open it up. This is what we have inside. Exactly the type of hinge that I wanted. This will not be affected by uh, heat. And now I just need to fill it up on the inside with uh, some fireproof uh, gypsum board and uh, be done with it. I don't think I will even make holes like the videos that I will link in the descriptions, uh, description of this video um, because this is not hermetically sealed. So yes, air will be able to escape through this edge in case it needs to. So uh, yeah, this is quite good. Much better than just having the batteries random somewhere in the house. So that's perfect. Drill some holes, uh, make them elongated in uh, the upper side, marked on the wall based on them. And uh, now basically I can cover them up and just, uh, I don't know, with something dig a little bit into the gypsum board, just a tiny bit so the screw has enough room in there and uh, I can put this on the wall whenever I want to. Cutting the gypsum board and just wanted to show you the fiberglass in it that makes it way stronger than standard gypsum board and this can resist about 600 degrees for I don't know exactly how much time but quite a lot so I'm cutting them to size and fitting them in here I will put some glue at the bottom and uh, lower it in place this is the type of glue and it's finished I didn't really film the process itself because it's just a matter of measuring, cutting, making sure it does not impale you with the really fine hairs and uh, gluing it in place. So there's that. This one you need to make sure it has room to fit in it. This is uh, with a thickness smaller because this comes on top of it and this fits inside of all of that. And has a small gap, something like this on the sides. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Now let it until tomorrow to to have the glue dried up. But in theory, even without glue, this thing, the way I made it, kind of uh, everything fits together and stays in place, apart from that one which needs glue, because hey. But once it's closed, even this one, even without glue, it cannot fall because it's inside of this. So. Uh, yeah, quite quite okay, but be really careful with this material. Your hands will be begging you to to do something about them if you don't wear proper thick uh, rubber gloves or something like that, because otherwise, oop, not good at all. So there's that. Let this dry uh, until tomorrow or harden, whatever you want to call it, and install it on the wall and put some batteries in it and. Uh, it's great, another project done. And this is heavy now. <laughs> and this is how it looks like inside. 
I'm not sure if I can show you too much, but you can see in there nicely closing up. So, uh, yeah, let's move this and just scrape a little bit at this, maybe even not required 100% just to make sure the head of the screw has enough room to go in here. I will just check it. And it's done. Now let's do the second one where some glue popped out and I glued uh, just a tiny bit of grass in here. <coughs> Screws are on the wall, so let's hang this in place. And it's on the wall, so finally I have a proper place for my Aquus even a safety mechanism so it doesn't uh, easily come undone by itself. Now just put some Akkus in there and that's about it. Much safer than just keeping them inside the house. Close this thing right back up. If it actually allows me to close it with one hand, which it doesn't really. So it will take a while, one is closed, the other is closed and this is safe. And in case something happens, I just grab onto this, yank it out from the screws and I'm gone. Hopefully that's never required. So that's about it for this video, hope it helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one, bye.